Welcome to Fire Engineering Training Minutes. I'm Captain Sean Gray with Cobb County Fire Department. And I'm Captain Chad Christensen with Los Angeles County Fire Department. Today we're going to talk about the amount of air that's entrained in a stream and how the angle is going to affect how effective or ineffective that stream could possibly be. We're going to demonstrate to you three different angles. Straight stream vertically against the ceiling, straight stream straight through a window, fog stream through a window, and we're going to talk about the effects of each of those. You're going to see the firefighter demonstrating a straight stream into a first floor window. As you'll notice, the firefighter is keeping that stream as straight and as still as possible towards the ceiling, reducing the air that's entrained in that stream and allowing those gases to exhaust out that window. As he starts waving that nozzle back and forth in the window, he's increasing the air that's entrained in that stream and essentially not allowing those gases to exhaust out that window, potentially causing negative effects on the interior of that room. We've additionally learned from the recent studies that there's equal amounts of air entrained in a smooth bore and a straight stream. That's why we can have negative effects on the fire ground when a nozzle is being flown through a window on a straight stream as demonstrated by this firefighter. It's not until we get that nozzle past the threshold of the window that the air entrained in the stream is no longer a negative factor. The more we learn about air entrainment, we understand that as demonstrated in this video, the fog stream is the worst thing you could put around a window. The volume of air that's entrained in that stream is like putting a 10,000 plus CFM fan in that window, which can push gases and cause negative effects on the interior of that structure fire. We've also learned from the research that in a straight stream or a smooth bore, we have a significant amount of air entrained in that stream, anywhere from four to 6,000 CFM of air, up until the point that we get that nozzle past that threshold of the window. You can see as the firefighter moves that nozzle towards the window, once we clear that threshold, the air entrained in the stream is reduced significantly. Hopefully after today you have a better understanding of how air is entrained in the stream. I'm Chad Christensen. I'm Sean Gray. Thanks for watching Fire Engineering Training Minutes.